Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'll be talking to you about the different setting in LOX Algo, how you can tweak them to get a successful trade every time. So sit back, relax, and we're starting right now. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. As usual, my name is Carl. If you are new to my channel, make sure you hit the like and the subscribe button because all my video is about giving you tips and tricks on how to start and how to make money with crypto. All right, so in today's video, I'll show you how you can tweak your Lux Algo and to make it as profitable as possible for you. I'll show you how I do it. I'll show you all my setting so it will be easier for you um, to uh, replicate on your side. All right, so if you don't know what is uh, Lux Algo exactly, I'll just put a link on the top of the video so you can watch the other video I did that give you an overview of the software itself. Uh, because today will be more on how to uh, adjust your setting and when you can, what you can do with uh, the different setting also to tweak it uh, to make it work better for you. All right, so just to give you a recap, Lux Algo, how do we do it? So basically you have to just to go on the Lux Algo website. I'll put the link in the description so you can have a look. If you decide to um, give it a try, you can try it only for a month if you want. It's uh, no contract, you don't have to, you can cancel anytime. So you, all you have to do is click the buy button and then from there you just need to fill up all your information. Now you have to make sure that you do have a trading view account uh, already um, created. If not, go create your trading view account now because you're gonna need your trading view username. Then again, if you're new and you don't know what is a trading view, go watch my video uh, on Locks Algo. I also explain a little bit what is trading view. So make sure you get your training view username fill up the information enter the uh, payment method and from there you just need to wait for a confirmation from lux algo usually you'll receive an email within a few hours um, saying that your account is now uh, created and ready to be used you go on your trading view account and go right here indicator click invite only script and the three locks all go uh, script will be available right here. So on today's video, we'll be talking about the main one, the locks all go premium. Just click on it and it will show up right here. So all you have to do, well, in my case, I'll just activate it. So you're going to see something very similar to this. Let me actually put it the way uh, you would uh, see it. So that would be something very similar to this that you would see. So you would take actually in my case, I'm trading uh, cryptocurrency. So you would take any of the uh, cryptocurrency itself and you would be able to see the signal when you um, for the well, when you set up your account for the first time, you need to go through different setting to make it work better for you. So I'll show you how it works. So let's see, we have good example right here. All right, so the setting, how it work, you go right here for the setting. And Lux All Go, they have two main settings to adjust your signal. So the buy signal and the sell signal. It will, it's done with the sensitivity and the agility. The first one to adjust would be the sensitivity. Sensitivity, what it does, the higher the number, less signal you will see. So that's good if you're a long time trader or if you trade on a longer period of time, you would increase the number. If you're a day trader, you would decrease the, this number to get as much possible opportunity to see the buy and sell signal. So the way you adjust it, uh, I think usually by default, you would see uh, it would be 12 and 
26. So, the goal here is to try to make your cell flag, so the signal, as high as possible at the top and your buy as far as, far as possible at the bottom without creating too much noise. I mean without having too much signal that are just false positive. So what you do, go right here and you adjust the sensitivity to your liking. So in that case, let's try to go up a little bit. Like my case, I'm I trade on the two or four hour uh, chart um, because I don't necessarily trade every day. Uh, usually my trade will be uh, over a couple of days. So I'll increase a little bit the sensitivity and try to make as much as possible my signal align at the right place. So let's try this again, okay, then agility. Let's try to adjust if we can make it better. See the cell right here? If I reduce it at 24, it changed. See where it goes? Now that's better. Let's keep going if I can move some more. So this one just change. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. Yeah, so we can see good opportunity that we have. So we got a strong buy here, got sell, strong buy here, sell, buy. Yeah, good, good sell opportunity right here. This not so much, but this one, yeah, definitely very good. Yeah, that could make a good profit right here. So that's the first setting. If you're on a different time uh, or a different chart, well, you're gonna have to adjust. So right now I'm at 1521 for the two hour chart. It's pretty close to what I usually do. Usually for my two hour and four hour, I'll use 17 and 25, 27 ish. So depending on the chart I'm using, um, I need to, it has to be readjust one on a, once in a while. So let's look at the four hour. Yeah, four hour. Look good. Yeah, we have good opportunity here and there. All right other setting so the first one the signal mode um, we have confirmation or contrarian contrarian what it is exactly is just to give you um, better opportunity for the highs and lows so if someone that you doesn't necessarily want to do some uh, trading and you just want to accumulate uh, let's say a, a crypto or a bitcoin well at the, in this mode, it will give you where would be a good time to sell and good time to buy. So you buy the dip and you sell uh, the, the highs. Um, so at that point will be a, a good a good opportunity a good opportunity to have to have a dollar cost averaging on your coin. But I prefer to use confirmation when I'm 
well actually that's the one you need to use if you want to do some trading the color mode i like the uh, confirmation again why because it gives you um the trend so let's say i'll take another coin it will be easier so at this point when it's all red like that it's mean it's on a downtrend and when it get green it's an uptrend and when we see like this one it's green with red around it it means that it's currently trending it's not going up it's not going down it's just trending right now and waiting for a direction so when it start to move in a specific direction or it start to trend well it it will be the color of the the trending itself so we got the setting right here the indicator overlay so we have two options we have the reversal zone and the eq cloud or both personally um, i'll be using the reversal zone only what it does is when your your chart or your price touch the zone it means it will go on the other direction so that's why it's called reversal zone so at this point it will be like if we look at this it could be a very uh, good timing to enter a sell position because now it's touching the cloud and we have the sell signal right here so at this point it would be a very good opportunity same thing here uh, to buy so it's touching the zone right here we have the confirmation buy right here so we can enter our position right here and make profit so let's see we would enter right here and the profit would be let's say up to here nine percent in three days so if you would invest a thousand dollar well you would you would made a ninety dollar profit in uh, three days i'm on the four hours chart so that's why it, would, it take a little bit longer but if you're trading like on the 15 minute or uh, 30 minute chart you can make a quicker uh, profit same thing here very good opportunity here here so the um, the reversal zone that's what it is for so very useful it's a good tool when you're taking a decision and the last option that i'm using no not this one it's uh, setting and it's the support and resistance usually I use the first one predictive range and I'll put the SR uh, significance at 4 so what it does it create a support and resistance line it'll give you more option when you want to do uh, trading and take better decision so let's say if I would like to trade take a trade um, right here I have a strong signal popping up right here I said okay perfect I could take a trade from here and let's say I enter my trade somewhere here in the middle and I put my profit up to usually I'll, I'll just go below the uh, resistance line so just below it let's say right here I would create a, a sell order at 12% uh, from what I purchased it. So I would create a sell order at 13.12 and I would make a 12% profit when it touch um, right here at the top. 12% it's very good. And then it would go back down. I have another, see we have a sell signal right here, not necessarily good. Uh, we have another buy signal right here that would be very interesting I have my uh, support line right here so we know if it stay on the support line it will go up um, and that's what it did and then it went through resistance right here it touched the other uh, resistance line and then it go back to find support right here so those support support and resistance line very interesting um you don't have to do it or draw them yourself you can if you want to but it's there it's done automatically and it worked very good to find where's the best support and resistance uh, zone so always remember so when you do when you go to your setting always start with the sensitivity and then play with the agility to find the best spot for your signal 
it's been working very good for me but like i said make sure you take the time to adjust the setting properly you're gonna have the result um the 67 dollar it costs per month usually within a couple trade you're in profit so if i miss something let me know in the comment below and hopefully the information was valuable for you don't forget to like and subscribe thank you very much for watching and i'll see you very soon in the next one thank you bye bye <music>